it's really powerful to be here and to celebrate one year of Starbucks Workers United with you all. My name is Shay. I'm an organizer with Code Pink, which is a feminist anti-war organization. At Code Pink, we focus our work on ending U.S. wars and militarism, supporting peace and human rights initiatives, and redirecting our tax dollars to life-affirming programs. And a critical part of our work is understanding the role the United States military plays throughout the world as a global cop and bully. The U.S. military sends poor and working people to fight U.S. wars against poor and working people throughout the world. These wars make CEOs and government officials rich through gaining access to natural resources, installing governments, and bolstering war profiteers' profits. These wars are fought at the expense of everybody else throughout the world, people who do not get rich off of militarism but face death violence, destruction of their communities, and climate chaos. And it's not incidental that the United States military disproportionately harms working people. One of the primary reasons that the National Guard was established in the United States was to suppress and control workers, um, which was going on as early as 1892 with the Homestead Strike, the Pullman Strike, the Ludlow Massacre, and the Battle of Blair Mountain. The United States military exists to enforce a social and economic global order, and that is inherently anti-workers' rights, which is why it's really powerful to be here bringing in the anti-war movement representing Code Pink. And Woo! Although we know they're really different institutions, the United States military and Starbucks use really similar tools to try and suppress workers and communities creating change. They both use greenwashing, pretending to be sustainable, pinkwashing, pretending to care about queer people, even though their actions demonstrate the exact opposite of that. We know that the exploitation of workers and of the global majority is inherently incompatible with the progressivism that these globalized corporate bullies claim, whether that is Starbucks or the United States military. That's why it's really powerful to be here and to celebrate one year of Starbucks Workers United with you all. The union campaign's incredible growth to representing almost 7,000 previously unrepresented workers is a huge testament to the power of the people uniting over greed and exploitation. Our movements are connected. The victories of Starbucks Workers United is a victory for all of us involved in the struggle for justice against militarism and against corporate exploitation and for life-affirming resources. Solidarity will win all of our fights. Um, thank you so much.